Hey guys, Ralph here, True Power Trumpet Fitness, and this is pretty late in the afternoon. <laughs> you will get this. Beautiful day out. Um, and the reason it's later is I'll tell you, I had quite a clear morning for the most part. Uh, and usually when I do these, I haven't warmed up yet or barely played a little bit, noodled around a little bit. This time I didn't have anything to do, so I played two straight hours. Now, I did, maybe a couple months ago, I did three straight hours, and you saw, saw the difference. But I think it's important that uh, you get the idea because of the intensive that we're going to talk about. Okay? Very important that you know how to play, rest, play, rest. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, so let's see what we got, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. Now, I know <laughs> several of my listeners have made it quite clear that uh, the sound is not the best on this, and I have no problem with that at all. And it probably, when I hear the re feedback, uh, the rewind, uh, you're not going to get the full effect. <laughs> but that double C was so wild <laughs> and so easy and so centered go right down to the double pedals, okay, five and a half octave range, and then, without even a warm-up, without even noodling a note, okay, boom, right on the E-flat trumpet, and one of the most lyrical pieces in, in the, uh, in the uh, trumpet literature, and I am going to say, there has never been a system, never in the history of trumpet, never been a system that allows a player to do that. Go from a wide, open double C to changing trumpets with the same mouthpiece and just play lyrical like that without missing a note. Sorry, guys. Are there a handful of guys that could do it? Probably. Okay. Mel Broyles couldn't do it with one mouthpiece. He would have to go to the, the Jet Tail mouthpiece, the double C. Herseth, I'm not sure if he could play the double C. Okay, and they're great players. They're my idols. You know that. I'm in awe of them. That's not the point. I'm not saying I'm a better player than them. I'm saying this system allows you to do whatever the heck you want on the trumpet. It's as simple as that. Okay, and there has never been a system close to be able to do that. Now, here's the deal. The intensive. It is definitely, definitely going to be June 30th and July 1st. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. Okay? Um, now, here's the deal. I am not sure how many people I'm going to invite. I got deluged from all over the world, guys. I really did, and I, I thank you for that. Um, but I'm not sure how many I'm going to invite. Now, hear me out here. It certainly behooves me to accept 25 people at 150 bucks a piece. I mean, you do the math. I'll make three, four grand over the course of, you know, two days. It ain't bubkas, right? But on the other hand, 25 people 
in an hour? You do the math. What do they get? Three minutes? See what I'm saying? Two minutes? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. So I'm going to keep at least the first one. I'm going to keep the first intensive small. Okay? And if you don't get into the first intensive, guys, it has nothing to do with anything other than I'm going eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's it. Many of you I've never heard you play. Some of you I have. Okay? Um, but that's not. And there is going to be nothing, has no effect whatsoever on your level of performance. I'm not going to try, try to keep, you know, all the advanced monsters in one intensive and the beginners in. No, I'm not going to do that. It has nothing to do with that. Chops has nothing to do with it. I can help every single one. And I think even for an advanced professional, it's very, very good to hear even a ranked beginner who has never played before how we start. I, I think that's very, very effective. Okay? Now, I'm not going to get, do a ranked beginner. You're not going to be sitting there with ranked beginners. I'm thinking I'm going to go five maybe eight at the tops, 10. No, I'm not doing 10. I'm not doing 10. I think I'm going five. I might even go two or three. I, I, I really will. I'm not sure. But I want you to, I want you to have, I want it to be intensive. I want you to do plenty of playing. I want you to do plenty of listening. I want you to get plenty of instruction. Now here's the deal. I do have a couple muscle heads out there that do kettlebell and, and lifting weights and all that sort of stuff, physical culturists. I, I have a few of them out there. And they will back me up on this. When you do an exercise, guys, the actual exercise itself, be it you know, uh, deadlifts or, or, or bench presses, it doesn't matter. The actual exercise itself is breaking down muscle, and you don't build up muscle until you stop. That's the exact same thing that you're doing with the trumpet. The actual playing of the trumpet is breaking down muscle and you don't build the muscle back up until you rest. So it has to be a very, very delicate, delicate little uh, equation of playing to resting. Okay. Now, some of you have expressed that you want to come and play and have a one-on-one -on -one for five hours. Guys, that, that, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. You need too much rest. Okay, you need rest. You can go five hours, and the people that come are going to go five hours. There's no question. Okay? But, <coughs> think about it. If I have three people here, you're going to get 20 minutes out of the hour. And the other 20 minutes, you're going to be able to see and hear, and that's very important, and I'll get to that in a second. See and hear other people doing the same thing from different levels that have different problems. Some may be very tight in the corners, but the tongue is right, your tongue, you know. But you'll be able to hear it. Very, very important, I've told you a number of times, the tone will tell you if you're right. And a lot of times when you're thinking about the chops, when you're thinking about the tongue and all this sort of stuff, and the tone is actually, as I told, talked before, is actually several feet in front of you being projected away from you. You don't get an accurate representation of your tone. Okay? But if you are sitting listening to somebody, you'll be able to hear it like that. Very, very important that you hear it, and I think it's important that you hear it listening to somebody else. Okay? Now, again, it might even be two or three people. Okay? Now, if I'm going to keep it to five or three or six or whatever, guys, Check your airlines. Check your schedule. Clear it with your spouse. Clear it with your kids. Make sure you, you forgot you're supposed to be you know, somewhere else because I don't want to do it and then have you cancel the, night, the day before or something like that. You see what I'm saying? So if you are going to commit to this, we'll do it. And don't send money yet. Guys are, are just dying to send money. Don't do it yet. Okay? That's not going to save your spot necessarily. Don't worry. If I don't do, if I don't get you this time, I will get you the next time, for sure. I think this is going to be very very powerful, and I might do this once a week if I have you know enough people coming in. Okay, so if you didn't get, if if these dates don't work for you, we'll, we'll do it again for sure. Okay, now uh, again, it is going to be ten to twelve on Saturday morning, the thirtieth. Okay. 
I'll bring you back to the hotel. You get something to eat. You take a nap or whatever. You come back from 2 to 5. Okay? Then I'm going to have you leave your instruments here because I know you trumpet geeks. You're going to go down. You're going to put your, you, you know, the, uh, the, the whisper mute in, and, and you're going to try to play in the hotel room. With it. No. I want you leaving your stuff here, and when you come back Sunday afternoon, you are going to see how fresh your lips are. I talk endlessly. I'm so proud of the fact that I don't have to warm up. You're going to see how it works. It may not be perfect, but you're going to see. Your chops are going to feel fabulous on that Sunday afternoon after doing this for five hours. Okay? So I'm excited about it. The kettlebells are here. I told you that. Okay? We're going to do um, PNF. Okay? It's going to be great. I'm really looking forward. It's going to be 150 for the two days and 100 if you can only stay one day. And you know what? If you can only stay one day, tell me. I'm just, I'm just going to keep it to guys that will uh, come the two days. Okay? Um, other than that, guys, it's going to be a blast. And I am so looking forward to it. So that's the deal. I want you to be able to play double C's, double pedal C's, and play the lyrical, most delicate lyrical piece in, in the literature. No change of mouthpiece. That, guys, is true power. Okay, so keep the cards and letters coming and all that stuff, and, and you want to do it, you don't want to do it, that's not going to work for you. Maybe you could do it another weekend or something like that. We can do that. But uh, this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to it. I'm jacked already. All right, guys, have a great day, and we'll talk some more. But June 30th and July 1st is definite. Okay, guys, love you all, and uh, we'll talk again tomorrow.